हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई विल डिस्कस वायरसेस वायरोइड्स एंड लाइकन्स एंड आई विल लाइक टू बिगिन विथ वायरसेस वायरसेस आर इन्फेक्शियस एजेंट विथ सिंपल ए सेलुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वायरसेस आर कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग एंटिटीज दे हैव द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बोथ लिविंग and non living things viruses can reproduce only within living cells and are obligatory intracellular parasites the study of viruses is known as virology now certain discoveries which are related to viruses the term virus that literally means venom or poisonous fluid was coined by pasteur in 1880 DJ Evansky in 1892 recognized that certain microbes were causal agent of tobacco mosaic disease they were found to be smaller than bacteria because they passed through bacterial proof filters M W Stanley in 1935 crystallized tobacco mosaic virus for the first time crystallization means knowing the molecular structure of any living organisms with the help of x-ray crystallography now i will discuss non living nature of viruses the first character is they lack protoplast the second thing is inability to live independent of living cell they have high specific gravity which is found only in non living objects absence of respiration energy storing system is also absent now living nature of viruses they are formed of my- macromolecules genetic material dna or rna is present in them they have ability to multiply mutation is also present in them occurrence of certain enzymes like transcriptase lysozyme etc sixth character is infectivity and host specificity viruses can be killed by ultraviolet rays or by heat Viruses are responsible for a number of infectious diseases like common cold, epidemic influenza, chickenpox, mumps, AIDS, SARS, etc. Now, structural components of viruses. The structural components of viruses are envelope, capsid and nucleoid. First, envelope. It is the outer thin loose covering composed of proteins lipids and carbohydrates this layer may may or may not be present envelope is present in hiv and herpes virus the second is capsid it is the outer protein coat made up of small sub units called capsomers capsomers are for protection of nucleic acid the third one is nucleoid viruses contain either dna or rna as genetic material dna containing viruses are called deoxy viruses these are of two types first double stranded dna viruses for example pox virus cauliflower mosaic virus herpes virus the second type is single stranded dna virus example is coliphage the second category is rna containing viruses or riboviruses they are also of two types first double stranded rna virus or rio virus 
another example for uh, rna double stranded viruses is wound tumor virus the second category is single stranded rna virus example is tobacco mosaic virus influenza virus and foot and mouth disease virus now i will like to discuss about structure of some viruses firstly very important virus that is tobacco mosaic virus if you want to see the picture of tobacco mosaic virus you can refer to figure 2.6a of textbook of biology class 11th by ncert now some of the features of tmb it is elongated rod like 300 3000 sorry ang strong long and 180 ang strong in diameter with molecular weight 39.4 into 10 raised to power 6 daltons there are 2130 capsomers that are arranged helically to form the capsid rna strand is helical single stranded rna consists of 6400 nucleotides thus the ratio of nucleotides is to capsomers is 3 is to 1 now bacteriophage if you want to see the picture of bacteriophage kindly look for the figure 2.6b of same book bacteriophage or bacterial viruses are the viruses that infect the bacteria they are usually have double stranded dna t4 bacteriophage has a tadpole like structure with polyhedral head connected to a helical tail the head of nucleic acid is surrounded by protein coat or capsid nucleic acid is double stranded dna tail is proteinaceous tube like core is surrounded by sheet at the end tube is joined to the head by thin collar at the other end it has hexagonal base plate with small tail pins and six tail fibers which help in attachment of the phage to the host cell now viroids they are the smallest self replicating particles which were discovered by daner in 1971 viroids are infectious rna particles remember it only rna particles dna is not present in viroids and they lack protein coat they are obligate parasites molecular weight of viroid is low the rna is tightly folded to form circular or linear structure viroids are known to cause round about 20 diseases in plants for example potato spindle tuber disease and chrysanthemum stunt now lichens the term lichens was introduced by the father of botany theo frostus now their characters lichens are dual organisms are entities which contain a permanent association of a fungal partner or a mycobiont or algal partner known as phycobiont mycobiont is a dominant partner and mostly belongs to ascomycetes or sometimes basidomycetes phycobiont is mostly a member of chlorophyce lichens often grow in most inhospitable and uninhabited places like barren rocks soil icy tundra or alpines they cannot commonly live under humid and exposed conditions but can tolerate 
एक्सट्रीम डेसिकेशन लाइकन्स कैनॉट टॉलरेट एयर पोल्यूशन स्पेशली ड्यू टू सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड लाइकन्स आर पैरिनल देयर ग्रोथ इज स्लो दे हैव ग्रेश येलोइश ग्रीनिश ऑरेंज डार्क ब्राउन और ब्लैकिश कलरेशन थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग If you have any comment or any question you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can comment or question over there